Intensity is picking up as there's just two races left to make the Copperhead Cup Series playoffs. This is one of those chances. If a driver wins today's race, their spot is guaranteed on the playoff grid, but there's still going to be at least two spots open to make it in on points. Replacing Elliott Sadler in the 38 car is David Gilliland, who will be making his series debut today. Up front, we have the Penske cars, Rusty Wallace qualified first, and Ryan Newman qualified in second. Let's take a look at the starting lineup and the playoff bubble. Kyle Busch, Ryan Newman, and Terry Labonte are all above the cut line, but a lot can change in two races. Some of your fantasy picks are on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. More on that after the race. Right now, we're getting ready for 12 laps in the 4th Annual Matthew 544-500. The pace car is hitting pit road. The Penske cars are leading the field to green. Green flag is out. We're underway. Ryan Newman with a great jump. He's in front of his teammate Rusty Wallace off turn 2, but Rusty Wallace fighting back hard. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. Three wide for the race lead already. Johnson leads lap 1. Ryan Newman tucks in behind him in 2nd. Now Newman looks to the inside of Johnson for the race lead. Here comes Ricky Rudd behind Ryan Newman. Jimmy Johnson prevails with the high line off turn four. Johnson has a win. Ryan Newman does not. Everybody fighting for position further back. Dale Jr. and Jeff Gordon picking up spots. Remember that every position is worth one point, and every point is important in the Copperhead Cup Series. Ricky Rudd is going to make a pass on Ryan Newman for second. Here comes Rusty Wallace looking to the inside of his Penske teammate. Jimmy Johnson can see lap traffic ahead, and he's approaching them fast. Coming up to the back bumper of David Gilliland, Johnson is there in turns three and four. Johnson looks to the inside of the 38 car. Halfway bonus points awarded this time by at the line. The race leader will get five bonus points in trouble on the front stretch. The yellow flag is out. Travis Quapple has blown up. It's the first yellow flag of the day. Let's take a look at what happened. Coming down the front stretch, it looks like the engine just blows up on Travis Quapple in the 77 car. Not much he can do, but his day is over. While we wait on track cleanup, let's take a look and see where we'll be racing at next week. It's going to be the first ever Copperhead Cup Series airport race, and it's the final chance to make the playoffs. It's going to be a good race. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Back to today's action. We're coming to the choose. Jimmy Johnson's going to pick the inside. Ricky Rudd's going to pick the outside. Rusty Wallace picks the inside row two. Dale Jr. on the outside. Everything pretty straightforward for the first four rows. The previous winners of the Matthew 544-500. Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, and Ewan Wayne. Who's going to add their name to that list today? Three laps to go with this restart. The pace car is coming on pit road. Jimmy Johnson and Ricky Rudd on the front row. Green flag back in the air. Ricky Rudd overshoots the corner. Here's Jimmy Johnson pulling away down the back stretch. Rusty Wallace coming to the back bumper of the 48. Rusty Wallace looks to the inside of Jimmy Johnson as Ricky Rudd brushes the wall. Rusty Wallace in the lead with two laps to go. Here comes Dale Jr. He's looking for a shot at the win. The dominant car of the day falls to third as it's Dale Jr. versus Rusty Wallace. They go high in turns three and four. Rusty Wallace in the wall. White flag, last lap. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. Back to the lead. Off turn two, Johnson clears Dale Jr., but the eight car is going to have one more shot in turns three and four. He looks to the inside, but coming off the final corner, it's going to be Jimmy Johnson in the low Chevrolet getting his second win of the season. Jimmy Johnson led almost every lap and got max points on his way to victory, but it wasn't easy, especially on that final restart. Dale Jr. comes home in second. Terry Labonte had a quiet day, but he comes home in third. It's a good points day for the 44 team. Carl Edwards just misses the top 10 as he comes home in 11th place. As we take a look at the season standings, Jimmy Johnson jumps up to the points lead. Rusty Wallace gains a handful of spots back there in 7th place. And then Elliot Sadler drops some spots, but more on him in a moment. Carl Edwards drops out of the top 10 as he's in 11th place. And speaking of Carl Edwards, let's take a look at the playoff grid with just one race to go in the regular season. Edwards is just three points below the cut line, but there's a lot of drivers fighting for those final few playoff spots. Make sure you're subscribed for the airport race. You don't want to miss it. Let's take a look at the fantasy standings. 1989 Worms 1 extends his points lead by picking Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr., the first and second place finishers. So max points day for 1989 Worms 1. Other people to pick the race winner Jimmy Johnson include D'Lo the Noob. Eli Carter Racing 5001 and Crafty David 6864.
If you want a shout out at the end of the next video, just pick the winner. You can pick two drivers on your screen right here, and if one of your two drivers goes to victory lane, I'll say your name at the end of the video. Keep in mind this is the last opportunity to make fantasy picks for this season of the Copperhead Cup Series, as after race 7, we will be closing the fantasy competition and crowning our season 5 Copperhead Cup Series fantasy champion. But not only that, the top 6 will all have a special reward, but I won't reveal that until the end of the next race. So make sure that you get your picks in, and take a good look at this list. we got two drivers on here I want you to keep your eyes on. Elliot Sadler is going to be back in the Copperhead Cup Series driving the number 90 City Financial Ford. And also Tony Stewart is making his series debut. And remember, we're at the airport track next week. It's going to be a fun race. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys for race 7, the final race of the regular season for Copperhead Cup Series Season 5.